Would you like to invest in a world-class business? Want to profit from powerful long-term demographic tailwinds? Like the idea of collecting a market-beating dividend growing at a double-digit rate? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a special news announcement. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is a world-class biotechnology firm that's providing high value drugs to millions of customers. Human beings. Illness and disease can enter the picture as we age. It's just part of the human condition, unfortunately. Well, high-grade pharmaceutical companies are there to provide life-saving and life-improving treatments. Of course, these treatments come at a cost, which means plenty of profits and dividends. I've personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. Best of all, the stock looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I want to share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of Amgen Inc., which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. Amgen Inc. stock ticker AMGN is a global biotechnology company that develops and manufactures a range of human therapeutics. Founded in 1980, Amgen is now a $137 billion by market cap healthcare colossus that employs more than 24,000 people. Amgen offers treatments for a range of ailments, including anemia, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, cancer, and osteoporosis. Fiscal year 2020 total product sales break down geographically as follows. US 74%, rest of world 26%. A world-class biotechnology business like this is an obvious business to invest in. With the world growing bigger, older, and richer, demand for high quality healthcare, including drugs, is sure to rise. But it being obvious doesn't make it a poor idea by any stretch of the imagination. If anything, the opposite is true. It was an obvious idea 10 years ago, yet the stock is up more than 300% over the last decade. Some of the company's major drugs include Enbrel, 21% of fiscal year 2020 sales, Prolia 11%, Nulasta 9%, Otesla 9%, and Exgiva 8%. Their biggest blockbuster, Enbrel, generates over $5 billion in total annual sales. Even with that, the company isn't overly dependent on any one drug. In addition to the product diversification, Amgen doesn't face a near-term patent cliff on Enbrel. Patent protection runs until almost the end of the decade. All of this augurs well for Amgen to continue performing at a high level for years to come. That means growing profit and dividends for shareholders. As things stand, Amgen has increased its dividend for 11 consecutive years. The five-year dividend growth rate of 15.2% is impressive, and you're pairing that double-digit dividend growth with the stock's current yield of 3%. This market-beating yield is 30 basis points higher than the stock's own five-year average yield. With a payout ratio of 58.3%, the dividend is also quite safe. I like dividend growth stocks in what I refer to as the sweet spot. That's a yield of between 2.5% and 3.5% paired with a high single-digit or better dividend growth rate. Amgen is clearly in the sweet spot. Looking at business growth, Amgen grew its revenue from $15.582 billion in fiscal year 2011 to $25.424 billion in fiscal year 2020. That's a compound annual growth rate of 5.59%. I usually look for mid-single-digit top-line growth from a fairly mature business like Amgen. They did slightly better than I'd expect. Meanwhile, earnings per share increased from $4.04 to $12.31 over this time period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 13.18%. This is fantastic. We can now see where the double-digit dividend growth came from. It came from similar earnings per share growth. Much of this excess bottom line growth came about as a result of meaningful share buybacks. The company reduced its float by 35% over the last decade. That's one of the largest buyback programs I've ever come across. Looking forward, CFRA forecasts that Amgen will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 9% over the next three years. This would be a slight drop compared to Amgen's performance over the prior decade. CFRA cites Amgen's promising pipeline, auspicious biosimilars business, diverse product portfolio, robust cash flow, large buybacks, and 
and acquisition flexibility as advantageous areas for the company. Regarding the acquisition flexibility, Amgen acquired the worldwide rights to inflammatory disease drug Otesla for $13.4 billion in November 2019. CFRA expects this drug to surpass $4 billion in annual sales before the expiration of certain patents in 2028. A key headwind for Amgen is the slowing of growth among major legacy drugs, particularly Enbrel. Enbrel showed a 4% year-over-year decline in sales for fiscal year 2020. Overall, I see CFRA's near-term earnings per share growth projection as fair, and that would present Amgen with the capability to produce dividend growth in that same range. Combined with the 3% yield, that's a compelling combination of yield and growth. Moving over to the balance sheet, the company has a rock-solid financial position. The long-term debt-to-equity ratio is 3.5. That's actually quite high. However, it's high because of low common equity, not because of a high debt load. The interest coverage ratio of over 7 tells the true story, which is one of no problems with servicing debt. Profitability is extremely robust. Over the last five years, the firm has averaged annual net margin of 28.15% and annual return on equity of 42.89%. There really is a lot to like about Amgen. It's a high quality biotechnology company that naturally benefits from massive long-term demographic tailwinds. These tailwinds should allow for a very prosperous future. And the company is protected by durable competitive advantages that include patents, R&D, IP, established healthcare relationships, and global scale. Of course, there are risks to consider. Litigation, regulation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. Some of Amgen's smaller products, including Nulasta and Epigen, are starting to see biosimilar competition. Any major changes to the U.S. healthcare system, especially as it relates to drug pricing, would impact Amgen. Amgen's Otesla acquisition had a high price tag. This drug has to perform well in order to rationalize the acquisition. And the company's balance sheet, while still very solid, has weakened in recent years. Even after careful consideration of these risks, I still believe Amgen should make for an excellent long-term investment. That's particularly true with the valuation being appealing right now. The stock is trading hands for a price to earnings ratio of 19.8. That's way below the broader market's earnings multiple. It's also well off of the stock's own five-year average price to earnings ratio of 24.0. And the yield, as noted earlier, is above its own recent historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 7.5%. This dividend growth rate is on the high end of what I typically allow for, but I think this business warrants the benefit of the doubt. It's one of the strongest biotech companies in the world, and while they are facing increasing biosimilar competition, they're fighting fire with fire with their own biosimilars. This dividend growth rate is below what Amgen has produced over the last decade. It's also below the demonstrated five-year dividend growth rate, and it's below CFRA's near-term earnings per share growth forecast. With the payout ratio being moderate, I see Amgen as being likely to exceed this level. Still, I'd rather err on the side of caution. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $302.72. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value of money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates Amgen as a two-star stock with a fair value estimate of $215. CFRA rates Amgen as a four-star buy with a 12-month target price of $270. I came out high, surprisingly, but I also think Morningstar is awfully conservative here. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $262.57, which would indicate the stock is possibly 10% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. Amgen, Inc. is a world-class biotechnology company that would, should naturally benefit from large, long-term demographic tailwinds. With a market-beating dividend, double-digit dividend growth, a moderate payout ratio, more than a decade straight of dividend raises, and the potential that shares are 10% undervalued, this stock should be on every dividend growth investors radar right now. And now for a special news announcement. T. Rowe Price Group Inc. stock ticker TROW just announced a $3 per share special dividend which comes on top of its regular dividend. This is such a fantastic business. We highlighted this stock as an undervalued long-term investment idea for dividend growth investors back in late April when shares were around $175 each. Shares are now coming up on $200 each and they could be headed even higher from here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon 
and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time. Thank you.